all right so i'm uploading this video midnight before maths exam if you're still up let me know in the comments let me know what topic you're revising this hour and you know maths is in nine hours let me know what topic you're revising and good vibes towards you good vibes hope you stay calm everything cool nice and airy so i'll probably see on instagram what topic i'm going to do right after maths right after maths what topic i'm going to do most likely chemistry physics or maths one of those three all right so so since you up and i up we do all the last minute revision now huh? um velocity time graph where you see question here this is a very recent question too I think this is May 2017 in our question here we are being asked the velocity angle shows the motion of a cyclist over a period of 40 whole seconds boy. and we want to know well we don't want to know nothing yet I, I, I'm going to the next page to find out what we want to know but I should just say this is a velocity time graph the next type of graph you could get is a distance time graph and there are little different rules with distance time graph in the distance time graph the gradient represents speed in the velocity time graph the, the gradient represents acceleration all right so the velocity time graph is is the heart of the two so i'll do that one calculate okay, the gradient of oa 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 is this point here so all i need is the coordinates of a and the coordinates of o which is zero zero obviously um origin so A was what by? Um, 2510. So A is 2510. A is 2510. And O is 0, 0. So the gradient is going to be changing Y over changing X. Remember that formula, gradient? Yeah, boy. And this is 10, 0, 25, take a This is 20, 10 over 25, man. So we could um, we could break that down a little bit to them. Into that is five, and this is meters per second squared. Because the gradient in this is because the gradient in this is acceleration, and this is the unit of acceleration. People who do physics is mash up this question. Um, a B A B the gradient of A B as well. That's a straight line, a horizontal line. So zero. Horizontal lines have. The grade, no gradient, it doesn't go up, it's not going up, it's not going down, it's not nothing. So the answer is just zero. That's zero looking a little better. Alright, let me move on. Complete the following statements. The cyclist started from rest where his velocity was zero and steadily increased his velocity by, and we just found this, 10 over 25. Or oh, we can break it down to um, 2 over 5, right? 2 over 5 meters per second each second. So this is meters per second squared. During the first 25, okay, during the next 15 seconds his velocity remain constant, that is his acceleration was zero. If your velocity is constant, your acceleration is zero. Alright, you're not moving faster, you're not getting slower, so your acceleration is zero. Last part of the question is the kind of killer part now. Average speed of the cyclist over the whole 40 second period. Well, you should know that average speed is equal to the distance over time taken but where did we see distance in this graph did we see distance anyway nope we saw distance nowhere in this graph but yes there is actually there the distance in a velocity time graph is the area underneath the graph that's why we have a nice little beautiful area looking thing here to find so you basically just need to find the area of this triangle and the area of this rectangle <clears throat> and that will be the distance so the area of this triangle let me do it right here so we never go nowhere the area of this triangle is um what is the base of the triangle 25 and what is the height 10 half of that so that is 25 by 5 which is 125 okay i hope you understand what i do area let's call this a1 and a2 so the area of one which is a triangle is equal to base by height over two base is 25 height is 10 25 times 10 over 2 
And when you work that out, you'll see that's 125 cm. CM, why I say in my, that had to be meters, right? Because we're dealing with distance here, the area. The area on the velocity time graph represents distance. Remember that next thing that coming tomorrow, right? All right, so A2, so A2, A2 is this here, right? So A2 represents a rectangle. Um, so you can just say breadth by height, width by height, length by breadth, whatever, happy, whatever makes you happy. So from 25 to 40 is 10, 15 by, um, and the next 10 again, way. So this is 150, 150 meters. All right, so we have the total area here. The total area will be 150 plus 125, 150 plus 125. So that is 275 meters is the total distance, I should say, because that equates to the distance. So the distance is to why did I say one? 75 275 the time taken is 40 seconds so now we can just simplify our average speed average speed will be that over that 275 over 40 put on your calculator and I'm hoping that you get something that looking like 6.875 my neighbor who writing the exam tomorrow just come and borrow my calculator so now I look on my phone for my calculator 275 divided by 40 yeah so 6.875 and since the, we're looking for at speed yeah, just per meters per second and that's the end of that question so what's the big trick in that question let me see what was the takeaway what do you need to take away from that you need to take away some things the gradient on this graph when you work out the gradient that really means acceleration on a velocity time graph, gradient means acceleration. And the distance on any graph, I mean the area on any graph, well, I kind of said what I'm going to say, right? area on any graph is distance. And if it was not velocity time graph, it was, if it was a distance time graph instead of velocity there, if instead of velocity there, if we had distance, well, then things will change up. It will mean that the gradient on that graph really represents velocity. The gradient on a distance time graph represents velocity. And you don't need to know mono area and the graph on a distance time graph. So the velocity time graph is the one where you can generate a better question for you. So this one usually comes. But the distance time graph, I find nice food. I find nice food. So if that comes tomorrow, eat your food.